Democrats. Okay, so let's talk about that ripple effect because just this morning, White House advisors, they briefed House Democrats, including yourself, that healthcare.gov stood up to one million visitors. And again, this is visitors with bumps and weights, but no major crashes. Yesterday, the White House tweeted out that on Cyber Monday, 100,000 had signed up, and the site has a 90% success rate. So they feel 90% is good enough, but it appears that no amount of progress is truly good enough for the Republicans. I want to play for everybody, Oklahoma Congressman James Lankford. He was speaking to Chris Chancy, my colleague, in the last hour. Take a listen. Those wouldn't be good things of 100,000 people getting involved that there weren't 5 million people that just two months ago were kicked off their insurance. So 100,000 people signing up when 5 million people lost it uh, is a tough figure to say that's a positive thing. You've still got millions of people that don't have insurance and have had a difficult signing up. And if they don't sign up quickly now in the next three weeks, and if the website doesn't work flawlessly now for the next three weeks, people that were insured are going to lose insurance in January. So these are people, uh, again, that the congressman there was referring to, people that lost their insurance, were people that had bought policies that were going to be purged uh, because it didn't meet the standard of care under the ACA. Now, our NBC First Read team points out that not a single Republican on the last two Sunday talk shows, the last two weeks, that is, are talking about repealing health care law, the, the, the language of repeal. So do you think that that has gone away, that language, and now Republicans should be expected to confront the president's message, but know that this law is here to stay. Yeah, I think Republicans right now are kind of floundering around trying to figure out what their position should be. I even heard Bill Kristol this morning on Morning Joe talking about, he seemed to be suggesting that we actually ought to go to Medicare for everybody, a single-payer plan, which is an interesting position for uh, conservatives to take. I'm, I'm all for it. We, we should have done that. But uh, ultimately, when you're talking about repeal now, you're saying to 6.5 million seniors that they're going to pay $1,000 more a year for their prescription drugs. You're saying to over 100 million Americans, about half of them women, that recommended preventive care is going to be now is now going to cost them. Whereas under the ACA, it's it's without cost. Uh, you're saying to uh, to the entire country that many of the cost savings that were put into place that has given us the lowest growth rate in healthcare costs in 50 years are going to disappear. So the repeal uh, movement now, or the message, has very very severe consequences for many Americans, and I don't think the Republicans want to be out on that limb right now. Sir, before we let you go.